This is known as a coronal mass ejection, and they last longer and are stronger than normal solar flares. Hi everyone, I'm your host Stefan, and welcome to my channel where we discuss all things energy, geophysics, and electromagnetism. Today we're going to talk about the sun and its energy eruptive events known as solar flares. The sun absolutely dominates our solar system, being 1,300,000 times larger than the earth and containing 99.86% of all the mass of the solar system within it. Nuclear fusion is the energetic process that keeps it all running. And eventually this energy goes from the core to the surface of the sun, where it's released as photons of electromagnetic energy, like light, radio waves, or x-rays. Like the Earth, the sun possesses a magnetic field with a clear north and south pole. Every 11 years, the sun's magnetic field flips, and this is known as a solar cycle. During the peak of a solar cycle, the sun's magnetic field is highly unstable and becomes warped and twisted. Magnetic field perturbations allow energy deep in the sun to be routed to the surface, and if powerful enough, these can erupt as solar flares. It's not uncommon for solar storms to occur, and many of them will flare repeatedly before they die out. Surrounding the surface of the sun is an outer atmosphere of highly charged plasma ions known as the corona and it's hundreds of times hotter than the surface of the sun, but millions of times less dense. When a solar flare is of a large enough magnitude, it can dislodge plasma ions from the corona and blast them into space alongside its radiation. This is known as a coronal mass ejection, and they last longer and are stronger than normal solar flares. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections aimed towards the Earth create space weather. And when space weather impacts the Earth's magnetosphere, it can cause electrical disturbances, increases in the Schumann resonances, and also, most notably, aurora. Solar storms that release radiation and highly charged particles towards Earth can damage and destroy satellites, cause power grid blackouts, and in general, wreak havoc on electronics. Solar storms occur at the greatest frequency during the peak of a solar cycle. And as I'm filming this video in April 2022, we're about three years out from the peak of solar cycle 25 the sun has already far exceeded expectations of activity, and it has some people looking really nervously at the fragilities of our electric infrastructure. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more about solar cycles and my predictions for the first half of solar cycle 25, you can watch my video here.